just wrapping up, and we'll be back to get this season started right after this. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Opening day baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Texas Rangers. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. So the Texas Rangers were not in the postseason last year, but they've made some key additions, and they're among the league favorites now. There's a real hunger around this team, Chris, and with the fan base, they really think they've got a shot to make some noise this year. They do, Boog, and I don't think that's unrealistic. They made some nice moves in the offseason, tried to build up their roster, and now they look primed for a big year. Of course, that's not a guarantee of success. We've seen teams go on big spending sprees in the offseason in the past and just not back it up once the games start, but they look like a real contender to me. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. And pitching in this game, Jacob DeGrom. Chris, he is a fun one to watch do his thing out there. Well, he comes in carrying a career ERA under three. He's been fantastic ever since he broke into the big leagues. Can't wait to watch him pitch today. Trey Turner at the plate. Trey. Hmm. Here comes a pitch. Just off the outside edge. And we're off and running in a brand new season. And a 1 0. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Brandon. Turner runs. There's a ball. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, he's batting leadoff, and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. He's going, he's Rudder going, he's goes going. again. Pitch misses. The throw, tag, and he's out. Thought he might have a chance to swipe third successfully right there when he got a good jump from second. But it was such a great throw, quick tag to cut him down. 2-0. Slap the other way, foul. Right-hander kicks deals. Swings and misses. And that is strike two for Jacob deGrom. He comes from humble beginnings. Think about it. A ninth round pick by the Mets in 2010. He went to Stetson and he was mainly a shortstop at Stetson. By the way, Stetson, if you're wondering, it also boasts another Cy Young Award winner, Corey Kluber. Next pitch is outside. DeGrom hit one homer in college. You know who it came against? Chris Sale. That's right. How about that? Sale a lefty and DeGrom hitting from the left side of the plate. You don't see a whole lot of lefties homer off of Chris Sale. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on a pitcher as the game goes on. Bryce Harper to the plate. On the ground, right side. Slings to first. Harper retired. That ends the frame. Half inning complete. We've got no score. Back here at the ballpark, starting on the mound in this one, Zach Wheeler. Been a very solid pitcher throughout his career. ERA around three and a half. What I like is he competes, he stays in the game, and he gives his team an opportunity to win. Bottom of the first. Here is Marcus Simeon. 
He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Marsh racing over to make the catch. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. They're facing a guy today who is a strike thrower. Doesn't issue a lot of walks, so they're going to have to work hard to generate base runners. And when you've got a strike thrower like this guy on the mound, you can't be overly patient as a hitter because the umpire is generally going to give him the benefit of the doubt. So you got to go up there, understand what's in his repertoire, be aggressive in what you can handle. And you get three swings, why not take all three of them? With his control and command, he's going to be in the strike zone. Next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. Swing, and all the bat went flying there. Zach Wheeler, who was the sixth overall pick in 2009 by the Giants out of high school. He's from Smyrna, Georgia. Ground ball to the right side. Fires over to first. Two up, two down. That is third. The first baseman, not that young. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. That misses the zone. 1-0. and oh. Good eye right there. Two balls, no strike. Two down, nobody on. And there's a strike. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something belt high. That one in for a strike, two and two. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. At the play, Adolis Garcia. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Low leads off first with two down to the inning. Let's go, Rangers! Next offering is fouled back. And the 0 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field.
All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. One home run shy of 200 for his career. His next home run will be the 200th in his career. It would be pretty cool to see it right here. The why to kick the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Chris, when you think of Kyle Schwarber, how about the impact in the playoffs? He's hit some iconic home runs. The one on top of the Wrigley Field scoreboard in the division series against the Cardinals in 2015 and then in 2022. 488 feet off you Darvish. It's at a Petco Park record for distance. And now it is JT Real Muto, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Belly threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Strike two. Another 0-2 oh, count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Umpiring behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. Got him. And there are two down. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Ball one. Next offering is fouled back. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Phillies down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back. Bottom of the go. second. Here's Josh Young. The third baseman. Yeah. Wheeler back to work. There's a strike. Wheeler, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, a curb. And he works in a changeup. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Got it by him for the K. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2. And that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously. And right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim. And first offering is fouled off. And that's outside. Oh, 
Next offering is fouled back. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Fights that one away, still one and two. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these guys are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. One down, base is empty. That misses. Yeah, that's ball two. It's a good take. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. Miller. One gone runner at first. Brad Miller now. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Heim, the base runner at first with one out. Now wanted one. And that one got a piece of him. Well, anytime one of your guys gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention in the dugout. And you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. First and second, one out. Here's Leody Tavares. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And Elio won. Wouldn't chase that time. In the air on the infield. And the infield fly is called. Batting nine. The left fielder. Bubba. So first and second with two outs. Here's Bubba Thompson. Just missed. And a swing and a miss there. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and I love the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. Two outs. Line, and that's a base hit. 
throw in holds the lead runner at third so it'll be bases loaded and two gone well that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count up against it with two strikes right there anytime you rip a line drive the other way you feel really good about what you did at the plate you trusted your hands you let the ball travel and you took the barrel straight to it that's great work right there now it's Marcus Simeon on the corner for a strike Base is loaded, two down. Next pitch has popped up. And Simeon is out. And that is that. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied, nothing, nothing. New inning getting started. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Check swing, no appeal, and a count even one and one. Swings through that one. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a tapper. On to first. Oh. One up, one down. Here's the Phillies DH, Josh Harrison. Harrison, multi-time All-Star, 35 years old, and he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2008. And first offering is fouled off. Top of the third, no score. Started after the 0-1 pitch, and now a check down to first, and he held up. in there one and two swings and misses couldn't catch up to the heater came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate could get around on it and catch it out front Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And strike two. The 2 Just misses with that one. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And that keeps the inning alive. Big knock there to keep the inning alive and an opportunity to put something in the gap and give the Phillies the lead. Trey Turner. Here's Turner now. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. In there, and it's 0-1. You know, people may not remember about Trey Turner. He was actually drafted in the first round out of NC State by the Padres. Made his debut in 2015 with the Nationals. Won it all with Washington in 2019. He's been an all-star multiple times. And, of course, he's won a batting title. And the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And, and Turner's been part of some big trades. It originally started with the Padres as he was a player to be named later that ended up with the Washington Nationals then traded over to the Dodgers with got him swinging 
Gassed it right by him. One left for Philadelphia. Still no score. Bottom of the inning. Now here, here is Corey Rangers. Seager. Not shortstop. Corey Seager. The pitch. Seager throws right, bats left. Batting second in today's lineup, and he was selected to the All Star game last year. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. And delivers outside. Two on the way. And that one lifted in the air center field. Marsh moves under it. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. The first baseman. Nathaniel Low up to hit. One for one with a single so far. And that's in there for strike one. On the ground, right side. And it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one. Ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Man at first with one gone. Here's a big power threat. Adolis Garcia. First pitch just misses. Garcia goes six foot one, 205 pounds, and he was born in Cuba. The 1 0. And a base hit into right center field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw in, in there safely. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Show a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Next to hit, Josh Young. First offering misses the mark. The 1 0. And yeah, that one is in for a strike. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw. Tag. Ow. A bullet from JT Real Muto. Kind of a gamble right there. They're trying to stay out of the inning ending double play possibility, but now two outs, and it gets a little tougher to drive in the run from third. Low at third with two away. Get, 
One and two now. And misses inside. Now all even up. And another ball. Jonah Heim waiting for a turn at the plate. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Squeezes it. That is the inning. Rangers leave one, and we're still knotted at zero. Welcome back out of the fourth. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Marsh. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. DeGrom back to work. And that one is inside ball one. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. And it's one and one. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. This one in the air right field. That one gets down for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often, but right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Swing and a miss, and it's two and one. Well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Chris, remember the Cubs won it all in 2016. Well, Kyle Schwarber suffered a regular season-ending left knee injury two games into the year, April 7th. He had torn ligaments in that knee. Strike two. But he was added to the World Series roster and became the first position player to collect a hit in the World Series after going. The throw to second, and that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. To the bottom of inning number four now. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. The catcher, Jonah Heim. And a pitch. Strike one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. He dives, but he can't make the catch. He decides to eat it, and the defense comes away with nothing. So now the DH spot, Brad Miller, hit by a pitch his first time up. That one ran inside, almost got him.
and the 1-0. Oh, Heim gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And he pumps it a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And that one fouled off. Two down. Next offering misses down and away. Laoti Tavares waiting to hit for the Rangers. Nobody out. Runner at first. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. And now the center fielder, Laoti Tavares. 0 for 1 so far. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. First offering misses badly for ball one. First and second here, no outs. And a sack punt here. To first, and he beats it. Well, he's just given himself up to move two runners into scoring position right there, but somehow the defense can't get it out anywhere, and this is quickly turning into a golden opportunity for this offense. Now the left fielder, Bubba Thompson. And he's already singled in this game. All one there. The 1 0. Towards first. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. Not in time. And that'll score a run. Marcus Simeon will hit next. Liner, base hit. And now the runner will score from third on the wild throw. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they're up by three. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Bailey Falter taking over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Seeger stands in now. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. That misses off the outside edge. Runners on the corners, no outs. Pitches in there. Now one and two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And now it's one and two. Swing and a ball popped up. Stop. Has a beat on it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. Now batting. 
first baseman, Nathaniel. Two on with one out. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. Singy, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. That one to first. Throw, and it gets away. And the runner is in to score from third. Bad mistake there. Well, you're already down in the game, and not just by a couple. And then that error allows a run to score. And this is where things can really start to fall apart. As a team, they need to pick themselves up, find a way to play better baseball the rest of the way. One down. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Hammered, and this one could be extra bases. Coming around third is Simeon, and in to score the runner from second. Just the careless job of getting it in from the outfield there. Not in time, he's safe. It's six nothing. Nicely done, brings home two. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. One out, runner at second. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The 0-1 oh, is outside, down. and it's a ball and a strike. Runner at second here, one gone. Drilled the left center, way back there, and that is gone. That one felt good, and they had a pair. It's 8 nothing. so critical that you move the ball around work quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity he was all over that fastball and now the switch hitting catcher Jonah Heim in the air right field base hit as he pulls up short Now that the designated hitter, Brad Miller. Now it's the DH, Brad Miller. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Left hand batter waits. And that one wrapped foul. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And a 1 1. In the air to left center. Dives, can't get it, base hit. 
Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. That's back to back singles for him. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. Tavares stands in here, takes ball one low, one for two. The lefty, the 1 0. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Swings and misses. And it's 2 and 1. There are very few counts in today's game where you can just full on expect a fastball. I mean, even 2 0. Perfect example right there. The pitch. On the ground to third. One at second. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. So they bat around and score eight times to take the lead. We played four. It's the Rangers eight and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, JT Real Muto. The wind and the pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. Racing makes the catch. What away. Nick Castellanos. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. In there for strike one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Out to center. Tavares settles under it. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting the third baseman. And Alex. now it's Alec Bohm. Grounded out his first time. there and it's 0-1. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count and you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. In the air center field. And that will end the inning. Nothing across here this half. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Rangers eight and the Phillies nothing. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Andrew Bellotti. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Bubba Thompson stepping in for the Rangers. The left fielder, Bubba Thompson. And here it comes. That one missed. Well, these Rangers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. Only two strikeouts so far, and obviously they've been able to pick up plenty of hits, so it's been an impressive one. Fly ball down the line, and it drops in. Off to a good start with a leadoff nine. Clearly see the ball very well in this one. That pretty much split the zone no down the no middle, no and those are the ones Second where you got to make them pay. Marcus Simeon. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Now it's going to be Marcus Simeon. One for three.
Bellotti over to first. Thompson back in standing. Chris, how about the 2021 season for Marcus Simeon? He was an all-star, and he hit 45 home runs. That catches the zone for a strike, and it's 0-1. One of the other aspects of Marcus Simeon, when he first came up with Oakland, he really struggled defensively, and he worked so hard. Ron Washington, a guy that helped him out, he ultimately ended up earning a gold glove. Yeah, Ron Washington has helped out so many infielders over the years. He's even willing to work with guys in the opposing teams. We saw him in the All-Star game working with NL East rival Pete Alonso. The 1-1. And that's outside. Thompson gets his lead at first with nobody out. Run around the goal. That's in for a strike. Throw to second and great jump. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully move that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Short hop liner handled it short. Throw on to Castellanos. And that's the first out at the bottom of the fifth. Shortstop, Corey Seager. So now it's Corey Seager. That one ripped. That's back there. Gone. So he goes the opposite way with that one. His first homer of the year, it's 10-0. impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap and you know there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either he let that ball travel and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here one out base is empty and here's the first baseman Nathaniel Lowe that misses and that's ball one part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage The 1-0. -oh. And oh, downstairs. 2-0. -oh. Two and 0 oh to Cal. Here it comes. And that's in for a strike. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. Swings and misses, and we're filled up. Left-hand hitter waits. Can't field it cleanly. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. The right fielder, Two outs, base is empty. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. And the count one and one. This one chopped up the middle. Turner with the throw to first. 
And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 10-zip. Major League Baseball is on the show. All set for the top of the sixth. And digging in for Philadelphia, Josh Harrison. The pitch. And ball one. Ball one, no strike. That one's in there. And it's a ball and a strike. The wind of the pitch. Goes down looking. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Second base. Bryson stop. This is Bryson stop. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. That one's in there 0 and 1. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The 0 1. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. That's out number two. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those could be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. So the lineup flips over. Trey Turner stands in for the Phillies. 2022 turned out to be a banner year for Trey Turner. Won the Silver Slugger. He was the National League starter and shortstop in the All-Star game. And as well, 21 homers, 100 runs batted in, and 27 stolen bases. That's ball. off the mark. One ball, one strike. And couldn't have picked a better time to turn in that type of performance headed into free agency after that season. Hey. Strike of the outside corner. Going to count one and two. One and two here. Good job to fight that one off. The next offering misses, and it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. In the air, foul off first. Low makes the grab, and that's the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Rangers 10 and the Phillies nothing. Bottom of the six. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. And the right hander back to work. And that one missing low. Bellotti in his second season, he features a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. That one drifts oh, no. inside. Swing and a miss. Two and one now. And a pitch. It's softly on the ground left side. Boom. Rose on to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The catcher, number 28. Jonah. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Heim, it is third season, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2013 and he can't come up with it but plenty of time to recover and that's the second out 
Now back, the designated hitter. Brad Next, it'll be the Texas DH, Brad Miller. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Rangers go down quickly there, but they still hold a 10-0 lead. Top of inning number seven. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh. DeGrom back to work. Right through there for a strike. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Boog, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. That one lifted to left. Thompson makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting, right fielder. Here's Bryce, Bryce Harper. Harper. First nope. pitch, and he just misses. through there for a strike. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Harper tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. 3-2 now. Fights it off. He'll see another. Three balls, two strikes to count. On a line, base hit. Around first, heading for two. And he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year. Love how he became a really tough out with two strikes right there. Really stayed inside that baseball to send it to the opposite field. With the shift on to the pull side, that's an easy knock if you'll take it. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Kyle Schwarber. And that's in there for strike one. Man at second. Just Whoa, off the man. inside edge. Check swing. He went one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One out and a runner at second. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. And up to the now plate batting. is JT Real Muto. JT. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. 
in there for strike one. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Two strikes. Harper at second with two down. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. That's the third out. Philly strand one, not looking good. They're down 10 0. Set for the last half of the seventh. Leading off, Laoti Tavares. The right-hander back to work. And there's a strike stirring in the Phillies' bullpen. Connor Brogdon preparing to come on if needed. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. That's towards center. Marsh moves under it. And there's one down. The left fielder, number eight. Here's the left fielder, Bubba Thompson. That misses the zone. Ball one. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Swings through that. He's been great in this one. Eye-hand coordination just failed him a little bit right there. This to third. Throw on to Castellanos. And a couple of quick outs. No matter. Number two. Second baseman, Marcus. Back to the top of the Simeon. lineup. Up next for the Rangers, Marcus Simeon. That's First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts one and oh. Kicks and deals. Popped up. Castellanos sizing this one up, and that'll do it. Three up, three down that time. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Rangers 10 and the Phillies nothing. John King on the pitch here. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Number 32, John. So digging in, Nick Castellanos. The first baseman, number eight, Nick Castellanos. The wind of the pitch. That one's in there. That's strike one. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the grab, and there's one down. Now batting, third base. Alec Bohm Alec stands in for the Phillies. Bohm. The other way, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. 
Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Josh Harrison. So, man aboard. And next is the designated hitter, Josh Harrison. Left field, Thompson on the move to his right. Nice grab on the run. And there's two down. The batter number five, second baseman, Bryson Stock. Next to hit, Bryson Stock. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Here's your one. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Trey Turner with a chance now. And that is in for a strike. 1 1. First and second, two down. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Kicks and fires. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Phillies leave a couple. They're down 10 0. Welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. Here and here's Local Corey Rangers. Seager to hit. Not shortstop. Corey Seager. And the pitch. Line drive caught. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. And that one hit to first. He takes it on his own. Two up, two down. The batter, the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Next up for Texas, Adolis Garcia. He's a guy... Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. There's a swing and a drive. And it hits the fence. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So two down. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. He's already homered in this game. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. Garcia stands at second with two gone. Next pitch inside. Ball two. Now a screamer into the outfield. And he makes the catch. And that's the inning. One left for Texas, but they're still in front. Ten to nothing. here at the ballpark we go to the ninth here's the center fielder Brandon Marsh Brandon Marsh here comes a pitch King a 6-2 southpaw he features a sinker a changeup a slider and occasionally uses a cutter the 1-0 ground ball up the middle that's a base hit The 
right fielder, number three. Just kept it simple. Right. Played Pepper with the middle of the Harper. infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Here's Harper now. And that one oh, off the outside down. edge. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. That clips a corner. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And it falls. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Left field. Kyle Schwarber. Now it's the cleanup hitter for the Phillies. Kyle Schwarber. In the air, left side. Thompson pulls it in on the run. Two on with one out. JT Real Muto steps in. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. That one down the line and foul ball. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. One out, runners at first and second. At the belt and fires. Just misses. Now one and two. Hit weakly on the ground. Over to low. And real Muto is out. The first baseman, number eight. Dick. Castellanos. Nick Castellanos getting ready to hit. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. That ah. one's in there, 0 1. 0 1. And now the lefty had a foul ball. Oh, and two now stays alive. Oh, and two now. And that's in the dirt. Two straight. Started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he went around. Rule the swing. Well, the fourth inning proved to be the real turning point. They looked locked in at the plate after that first time through the order where it just seemed that they were off balance a little bit. But once they started really recognizing the pitches, everything started to click. 10 zip your final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.